Hi. Um, so this is my first video in a long time. Uh, sorry to everyone uh, for kind of neglecting to to post uh, to post videos. Um, the YouTube capture app that I have on my phone hasn't been working. Like it's been really tough to upload. You saw uh, probably the two that I uploaded a week ago. Those I've had sitting on there for a long time. So this is. Uh, Right now it's January 9th. Um, my last treatment was on on the 30th, so um, on the 30th of December. So I'm quite a far far ways past then. Um, this is going to be a long video video because there's a lot to say. <laughs> um, my hair, as you can see, is quite thin. It's thinning. It's not uh, not coming out in chunks like like apparently most people's. Uh, most people's hair does, my, and it's still actually growing. It's growing, but it's falling out at the same time. So that's a lot thinner. Um, on the 30th, I had my, uh, I, well, the last video you saw my pick line being being uh, being removed. So I had a whole month without that in my arm. So that was that was pretty great. I took I did uh, one one treatment. My uh, my sixth treatment, my halfway treatment, was done intravenously. So they just did it, did it through a needle. Um, and that, that, that worked out fine, but then they put my pick line back in, and they actually, uh, when they put it in, they went too far, they put it in four centimeters too deep, so there was four centimeters of it that was just in my heart, it was kind of, like, it was just in there, and for, like, three or four days after I had that treatment, like, after I had the pick line in, and after I got my treatment done, my heart was just, like, it was... It was beating irregularly. It was really laboring. My my chest didn't feel right for for quite a few days after that. But now it's back to normal. Everything so everything's good on that front. But I wasn't too impressed with uh, you know how they put it in. And now I've got more tubing on the outside. Um, I experienced for the first time some side effects after last treatment. Last treatment was uh, my seventh treatment. So yeah, I'm coming up on in a few days. I'll have my eighth. And then I've only got, f well, I've got five more to go at this point. So I'm past the halfway point, so that's that's good. But, um, yeah, the seventh treatment, I actually started experiencing some side effects. Like some, I, I got nauseous. I did, I did throw up, finally threw up, which was not pleasant. But, you know, after I threw up, I felt better. And there's, I've, so I started taking my meds. I've actually, like, I went and got my prescription refilled and everything like that, and I took my meds, and everything's been fine. For the past few days, I've felt perfectly fine again, but looks like I'm not invincible, and I do experience the effects of chemo. But Other good news, though, um, I had a bunch of scans done, or not a bunch of scans. I had an x-ray and a CT scan done on the 30th as well. Um, and so I got those results back just a couple days ago, and apparently everything is fine. Like, or, well, in terms of the chemo and the cancer, everything's, like, great. Uh, the, the lump in my neck has completely disappeared. Uh, the other scans show that I just have one lump left. That's the one on my uh, aorta. That was, that was the one that was five centimeters in diameter before. It's shrunk down to just one centimeter in diameter. And apart from that, I'm looking clean. Uh, other things, kind of an interesting thing came out of the <laughs> the scan results, though. Um, it was funny. I had I had a, an appointment with my doctor, uh, my oncologist, Dr. Tupan there. I don't quite like her. Uh, Shannon really doesn't like her, and my parents don't trust her. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, but, so I'm in there, and she asks me you know, how my, how, how my breathing is and stuff like that. I, like, my breathing's fine. She asked me if I've been having any chest pains. I haven't. Because um, I had bronchitis a while ago, right? Like, I had kind of November, December, I had, like, I had a, that pretty bad cough, right? And that, that lasted for probably, you know, close to a month almost. And they thought it was just bronchitis. Well, she asked me, like, so she asked me how, how my lungs are feeling. She listens to my lungs. Everything seems fine. She says, so what medication did we put you on? This is the oncologist asked me. And I'm like, you didn't know, no one prescribed me any medication. Turns out it wasn't just bronchitis. It looks like I actually had, a, well, it looks like I had pneumonia, which typically kills me, <laughs> cancer, well, 
could kill cancer patients, especially considering it wasn't on veterinary medication. So she just kind of went, hmm, interesting. Like, it's, it's very interesting that I just got better. I don't, like, she was a little bit confused by it, but, yeah, I just kind of got better on my own. So I got lucky. Got quite lucky. Um, well, you can really see my, my eyebrows have started to thin. They're much farther apart than they were, and they're not, yeah, I'm not looking, I mean, I still look good, but not quite, not, not, not quite how I used to. <laughs> But I feel good these days. I feel I feel good, and you know the pneumonia that I had is gone, so I'm safe, and the chemo's doing its job, and everything's on the right track for the most part. I'll keep uh, I'll get back on the on the train of like uploading on a regular basis. Sorry for the big you know month long hiatus that I went on, but uh, happy New Year, everyone! Merry Christmas, all that related yeah i'll make another video in probably you know maybe a week or something like that i won't leave it a month take it easy everyone